the relationship of authority and obedience. Illumination. We listen to each other, we dialogue, we discern. Several general congregations have invited us to reflect on our style of government and the way we live our relationship with authority, always with a renewed impulse of the Magi's. The path of synodality calls us today to review this relationship of authority obedience, to get a sense of how we live it, in an attitude of listening, without judging each other, in a reparative dialogue that allows us to express selves freely and feel welcomed, and to seek together to live the close relationship of authority obedience discernment. We are aware that we do not always live this path with freedom, faith and charity, and on many occasions we have hurt each other, judged each other, or treated each other with little respect, generating ruptures that alienate us and break relationships. We need to listen to each other to be more aware of how we feel, what we need, and to enlighten each other in the search for God's will. Listening as Jesus did. As we contemplate the heart of Jesus obedient to the Father, we recognize the need to continue to grow, following his way, seeking in all things to embrace the will of God in our lives, that it may be our nourishment. In the Gospel, we find many dialogues between Jesus and different people. Nicodemus, Bartimaeus, the Samaritan woman, the scribe, the disciples of John, Zacchaeus, and the rich man, among others. In all these encounters we can learn from Jesus the way to listen, to dialogue, to bring out the best in each one so that life is oriented to live according to the will of the Father, to our commitment to the Kingdom, and to justice. Synod on Synodality The preparatory document of the Synod, which invites us to follow the process through 10 thematic nuclei, can help us to deepen our understanding of the relationship between authority and obedience as well as all the dimensions of synodality. Traveling Companions, Walking Together Listening, it is the first step, it requires an open mind and an open heart without prejudice. Speak, integrating freedom, truth and charity. Celebrating, the Word and the Eucharist. Co-responsible in the mission, we all participate. To dialogue in the church and in society, it is a path of perseverance. With the other Christian confessions, united by a single baptism, Authority and participation, how we exercise it. Discerning and deciding, common obedience to the spirit. To be formed in synodality, the spirituality of walking together is destined to be an educational principle. We need to put into practice processes of listening, dialogue and community discernment that will help us to grow in relationships of greater friendship and sisterhood in order to live the mission more fully. Here are some questions that may help you to reflect and then to share in community. Remember to take notes and write down what you want to communicate. How do I live the relationship authority, obedience? How does the obedience of Jesus illuminate my life? What obstacles do I encounter that prevent me from living human mediation in faith? The way to share in community will be through listening circle. The greatest work that I can do for my God is this, to give myself entirely to his most holy will without putting even the smallest hindrance in his way.